Phil. Well, Phil plot to murder the, the Saudi ambassador. Why don't you consider that an act of war? We consider it what what it was, which was an attempted terrorist uh, act uh, to assassinate the Saudi ambassador here in the United States. I think it's important to call things what they are. Um, and uh, the fact of the matter is that um, the United States disrupted a conspiracy to assassinate the Saudi ambassador uh, in a plot that was directed by elements of the Iranian government. And the disruption of this plot represents a significant achievement by our intelligence and law enforcement agencies. It's a dangerous escalation uh, of the Iranian government's long-standing use of violence, and we consider uh, an effort to assassinate a diplomat in the United States to be a flagrant violation of international law. Uh, as you know, we are committed to holding the Iranians uh, accountable. Uh, we have charged two individuals uh, because of their involvement in this serious plot and uh, have sanctioned several others. We have imposed additional sanctions today on uh, Mahan Air, which provides transportation, funds transfers, and personnel travel services to the IRGC, the Republican Guards. We are actively engaged in a very concerted diplomatic outreach to many capitals, to the UN in New York as well, to explain what happened so we can try to preempt any efforts by Iran to be successful in their efforts to try to deflect responsibility, and so we can enlist more countries in working together against this escalation by Iran. Can you put in some perspective from the White House view how massive the response could have been by the United States had this plot succeeded? I mean, is there any doubt that there, is there little doubt that there would have been some sort of military uh, response? Well, I think that's, a, that's speculating on, on what might have happened had we not succeeded in disrupting this plot because of the uh, excellent work and coordination between our law enforcement agencies and our intelligence agencies. Uh, you know, in, 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 in this arena, we, we take no options off the table, but in dealing with Iran, we are clearly focused on uh, working uh, through uh, economic measures, sanction, sanctions, as well as diplomatic measures to isolate Iran, and we've had, we think, substantial success doing that. Uh, for the first time in a long time, the Iranian economy is not growing, uh, and uh, we think that is a result both of poor decision-making by the Iranian leadership, but also uh, by the impact of the substantial sanctions that uh, we and others have placed on them. And uh, this president has been very focused on holding up Iranian behavior so that it is clearly seen uh, by other nations around the world. And uh, that enables us to work cooperatively with uh, our international partners to isolate and put pressure on Iran uh, in a way that has never really been achieved before. On that, one more quickly on this one, on that last point. Uh, what would be a satisfactory response from the world community? Well, as I said, we're working with, uh, in a bilateral way, with other countries and other capitals to uh, discuss what happened, the seriousness of uh, this plot, and uh, uh, and the involvement uh, of the Iranian government in it, and uh, and and working with both bi bilaterally with other countries as well as internationally through the UN and other uh, uh, institutions uh, to continue to isolate. Iran through a variety of means.